Hi, Shalom. First and foremost, only give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Basham, Yahusha Basham, Kakadash, Damanus, unto the apostles and elders of the great millstone, and peace and salutations to the Akiyam, to the elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, pushing the truth on the faith of sincerity. I'm the brother Shema Allah from the great millstone in Houston camp. And uh, this lesson is going to be entitled, Yeah, Prepare for Him the Instruments of Death and the He. It's talking about the Most High Yahweh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, or on, the, on the world even the cause God, or in the Son, on the, the world even the cause Jesus Christ. They have big plans for this place, Babylon, the Great America. See, this place is going to be destroyed right, in a great fashion by weapons that are here on earth. See that 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 really ain't been really just been used yet. You see, and I'm talking about nuclear weapons, ICBM. Those weapons are the weapons of the Most High. He put the spirit upon these uh, Edomites. Right, to come up with this type of weapon to it's it it was created for their own destruction, for their own demise as scripture say yeah I was just say you you live by the sword, you should die by the sword. Esau's blessing was the sword, weaponry, war. He gonna go out the same way. But nevertheless, this is Psalm 7 and 12. If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He had bent his bow and made it ready. It says he had also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordained his arrows against the persecutors. It says he had also prepared for him the instruments of death. What are those instruments? You see? What are those arrows? Those represent the missiles. The, the instruments of death that the Most High prepared are those missiles. This is Isaiah... 54 and 16, it says, Behold, I've created the smith that blowed the coals in the fire. Talking about these scientists that were able to split an atom to make this type of missile, to make a nuclear missile. They didn't do this on the, with their own knowledge and with their own wisdom. The most high was behind that. But like I say, it was for their own destruction because it goes on to say, and that bring it forth an instrument for his work. So this is this is the instrument that the most I prepared, the instrument of death. Well, because it says I created the waste to destroy. So it's going to destroy. It's gonna destroy this land called Babylon the Great America. Right? These are the most highest weapons. They belong to him. They don't really have no say so. Right? Because the most high, he gonna his, his spirit is gonna be in these missiles. That he gonna put the most high gonna be controlling everything, man. So what these these missiles, hey, they they gonna they gonna hit to where they supposed to hit. Ain't nothing gonna be able to interfere with these missiles. His spirit is gonna be in them. Jeremiah fifteen twenty five, Yahweh had opened his armory. And had brought forth the weapons of his indignation. See his armory. That's those missiles. This is it's his armory. This is his weaponry. That's his missiles. <laughs> That's the army of the Most High. It talks about the missiles being uh, the army of him, one of his armies in Joel the second chapter. 
He said, for this is the work of Yahweh of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. See, in this place is going to be destroyed. It's like I said, Isaiah, the 54th chapter, like I just read, that he created the ways to destroy it. That missile is going to destroy this place, America. And nobody will ever dwell over here again. Scripture say that the destroying of this place will be as Sodom and Gomorrah. Isaiah 13 and 19. In Babylon, which is America today, the glory of the kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And we know that this, not, this didn't happen in ancient Babylon because it was just a transfer of power when you go back through the history. So this is talking about somewhere else. It's talking about the daughter of Babylon, America. It speaks about uh, mystery Babylon the Great in Revelation the 17th chapter. That's this place. It says, shall be as with the most high with the Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, what did he, he do to Sodom and Gomorrah? He rained fire and brimstone. It says Psalms 11 and 6. It says, upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone. And the horrible tempest, this shall be the portion of their cup. So, the wicked, it says that Job 9.24 says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And the wicked is Esau, even so-called white people, the white race, the Caucasians. All right, so they are in control of everything. So, he said, he shall rain snares. Fire and brimstone and horrible tempest. That fire and brimstone represents the missiles. This is, uh, let me get Joel to, I didn't really expect this lesson to be long. Joel 2 and 3. Is that fire devoured before them? Joel 2 and, two and 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Zion represents the Israelites, and we blowing that horn by prophesying his word. But all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of Yahweh coming, for it is not at hand. So the day of the Messiah is going is something to tremble at. It's not something to take lightly. It's a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people and a strong. There had not been ever the like, neither shall there be any more after it, even to the to the years of many generations. And that great people was talking about the missiles. You see? So there had not ever been the like. Cause they, hey, these 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 missiles, well, the most high, like I said, the most I put in these people's minds to make this. It ain't nothing like this. It ain't nothing as powerful as a nuclear bomb. Hey, you nuke something, it's going to annihilate it. That's what the most I'm going to do to this place and certain parts of the earth. But, hey, America is going to be totally wiped out. See, neither shall there be any more after, even to the years of many generations, right? Because if you read the book of Jeremiah, I believe it's the, the, the 50th or the 51st chapter, it says, spare no arrow, shoot all of them. Right, and then also when we in our kingdom, hey, we gonna destroy all of these weapons. So hey, it ain't gonna be no more use for none of this stuff. All of these these weapons and these missiles are supposed to be used for World War Three. It's gonna be the last time they get used. A fire devoured before them. Talking about the missiles, the warheads, and behind them a flame burneth. Talking about basically the transportation system of the missile. You see that the fire comes out behind it, guiding it to its location. The lands of the Garden of Eden before them, what is that what that represents it represents? Greenery, trees, right? Water, you know, gardens. Like a land supposed to look like, right? Normal land, flourishing land. It says, and behind them, so it said before them, it was a garden of Eden, meaning before these missiles hit. Everything is normal. But what it says, and behind them, a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. So, hey, the Mosai, he going to wipe this place out. Like I said, 
He gonna make it a wilderness, a desert, like it talks about in Isaiah the thirteenth chapter, Revelation that the the eighteenth chapter. You see, says nothing shall escape them. So you and the souls of America, it's a wrap for you. That's why we gotta be saved out of here. That's why the Messiah is gonna come back to save the elect, as it speaks about in Matthew the twenty fourth chapter and the thirty first verse. The elect will be saved. By so called UFOs of the chariots of Israel, they will not have the taste of the second death. You see, but this, this is these are the instruments of death that the most has prepared for America, right? Their own it was the weapon that they believe to be their own, the most are going to use it against them to take them down. You see, so this is edifying with that. I'm going to say, Shalom.